So this right here is the $4,000 PS5 racing simulator setup. Now, of course, you could build a racing simulator for a whole lot less than $4,000. You could also build one for a whole lot more, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. While $4,000 sounds a lot, it's actually kind of in the mid range. Now in this video, we'll take a look at all the pieces in the setup. Uh, we'll talk about their features, how they interact with each other, and whether or not you should build your own. Uh, racing simulator setup. So first of all, I'll just go ahead and say that I've always wanted to build a racing simulator setup like this. You know, racing games are fun and all with a controller like the DualSense, uh, but once you throw in the cockpit, wheels, pedals, a shifter, and everything, it's just, uh, this is definitely the coolest setup I've ever had. So before we get into all the details, I want to thank Micro Center for making this video possible. Now they call Micro Center Tech Heaven, and there's a pretty good reason for that. If you're in need of any piece of tech, whether it's a PC, a keyboard, monitor, or even something extremely specific like the Thrustmaster T-LCM pedals, Micro Center is there for you. I'm a huge fan of the online tools that Micro Center provides for helping you build custom setups. They have a custom PC builder that takes you component by component, which makes it super easy to build your custom PC. And of course, my personal favorite is the Ray racing sim builder and you can use it to build a racing sim like I have here today. I'll throw a link down below if you want to check it out and build one for yourself. And if you really want the full Micro Center experience, you got to go to their store and just check it out. With over 30,000 items in stock, there's a there's a pretty good chance you're going to find what you need. And to top it off, when you go to the store, you'll get a free 240 gigabyte SSD. There's absolutely no catch here. Just show up to your local Micro Center and show them the coupon using the link down below and you'll get a free 240 gigabyte SSD with no purchase necessary. So thanks to Micro Center for making this video possible and let me know down below if you've purchased anything cool from Micro Center. So onto the setup, let's talk about the main attraction which is the Next Level Racing GT Track Simulator Cockpit. Now it's actually what I'm sitting in right now and this one's legit. I mean, it comes with a racing seat that has bolstering, it slides back and forth, it tilts back and forth like a real car seat and then it has fully adjustable mounts for your shifter, your wheel, uh, your pedals and you know everything you need for a racing simulator basically and honestly probably the coolest part is it has a legit seat belt that straps over both shoulders um, i'll talk about that a little bit later but that is just pretty cool now this specific cockpit right here retails for 900 dollars, and i mean there's a reason for that like i said this is a real racing seat that's legit has bolstering the seat belt the whole deal um, you got all the mounts that are high quality once you bolt everything down it's not going anywhere and kind of the cool part is you can actually put wheels on the bottom of this thing and roll it out of the way when you're not playing. Now, I don't actually have the wheels on mine because I just slide out my carpet and back, but it's still pretty cool to have. Now, Next Level Racing has some cheaper options like the GT Lite for $249. Now, it's not going to have the same build quality as this one does, but it's still a great option if you're on a tighter budget. So not including all the accessories like the wheel and pedal and stuff, this cockpit took about two hours to put together, uh, so not bad. It comes with all the nuts and bolts you need, so uh, you don't need to go out and buy any tools if you don't have them. So one component I'd love to add to this setup one day is the Next Level Racing racing motion simulator, which is basically a platform you attach to the bottom of your chair. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It simulates the motion. So, you know, if you're going around a banked curve, you'll start tilting this way. And if you start shifting, you're going to feel a jerk. It looks really cool. I've seen some videos on YouTube. Now this thing is $3,000 and you also need a gaming PC because it's not compatible with like a PS5 or Xbox, but definitely the goal for the setup one day is to get that. And man, I'm going to be playing this thing 10 hours a day if I get that. Now moving on to the other accessories, we have the wheel, we have the pedals and the shifter. They're all made by Thrustmaster. So the wheel and pedals are from the T248 package, which retails for $399. And the wheel includes dynamic force feedback. It has magnetic paddle shifters, which are pretty dang loud as you can hear. And then of course it also includes the magnetic pedal set which has a gas pedal, a brake pedal with a spring on it, and then a clutch for if you're if you're into shifting. Now the dynamic force feedback in the wheel is a huge part of what makes this setup so immersive. You know if you hit a corner too hard and you're trying to turn you can definitely feel the feedback from the wheel not letting you turn and once you hit that grass your wheel's gonna start spinning and you're gonna it kind of just throws you into the wall and you know it's it's a feeling you won't forget from the first time you try it it's just a it's a pretty cool feeling the pedals also feel good and definitely help with the immersion in particular the brake pedal has four different spring setups you can use and you know the pressure from that brake pedal is another huge part of the immersion you feel um, while racing you know when you're driving a real car uh, you're not just going to easily press the brake pedal. You actually got to put some force behind it to brake. Uh, so that definitely helps. So now one of my favorite parts of the wheel and pedal setup is the wheel actually has a digital screen in the middle where you can show some telemetry info like your speed, your RPM, your best lap time, um, and a few other pieces of information that are actually useful while you race. So the other part of the Thrustmaster collection here is the shifter. It's called the TH8A add-on and it doesn't actually come with the wheel and pedal. It's a separate package for $200. Now while it's really a no frills shifter, you know, it's pretty basic. Um, it's really what adds to the full experience and brings everything together you know if you've ever driven a manual car you know what i'm talking about being able to use the shifter and control what gear you're in just makes you feel more powerful you know it's just so satisfying in a racing game when you can come out of a corner and downshift a second gear and just fly past somebody it's super satisfying and 
Um, it's one of my favorite parts. I actually grew up driving an old pickup truck, which is where I learned to shift manually, and I really enjoy it. Now, I'm not going to call myself a racing expert. I'm sure there's some other tips and tricks out there that real racers use, but you know, it's just an enjoyable experience, especially when you when you downshift and fly by somebody. So last but not least, one of the most important parts of your setup is the display. So there's a few different ways you can go about this. If you have the right setup, you can use VR, you can use a monitor, a TV, um, any of those things, it's kind of just, you know, pick your poison. So Next Level Racing actually has a monitor stand that they sell for $200, and basically you can sit it right in front of the cockpit. Uh, you can put anywhere from a 24-inch monitor or TV to an 85-inch monitor or TV. I guess at that point it's just TVs, but you definitely have options because it supports, you know, such a huge range. Now, I actually have two different setups right now for my displays, kind of depending on how I'm feeling. So on my Next Level Racing monitor stand, I have a 34-inch ultra-wide LG gaming monitor that retails for $1,300. Now, unfortunately, the PS5 can't take advantage of the ultra wide because it just doesn't support it. You can actually output to the full image. It'll just stretch the image or you can kind of reduce it a little bit. So where this ultra wide monitor really shines is for a gaming PC. So I don't have a gaming PC personally right now, but I'm planning to get one soon. And basically, once you plug into your gaming PC and you have the right game, you can actually support the ultra wide monitor and you get that huge field of view from side to side. And it really helps with racing as you can see around corners and kind of see your competition to the side. Um, it's just a it's a game changer and I haven't mentioned it yet But everything in this setup actually works with a PC as well as a ps5 and ps4 Now if you want to get the same setup for your Xbox you can but the models will be slightly different I'll throw all the links down in the description so you can check those out But yeah, the ultra wide monitor is great whenever you can support it and you support that field of view Also, it supports up to 144 Hertz I believe so um, you get those nice frame rates now The second setup I use is my LG OLED C1 65 inch TV and I'm not gonna explain OLEDs in this video But OLED TVs are amazing. They look so good um, now. I don't use this one on my monitor stand because I actually use this TV for like movies and other games as well. So I just have it on my entertainment center and it's not quite as close as the monitor, but you know, it's 65 inches. So it's still pretty immersive and it's just a great TV. So I mean, for the display, it's really up to you. If you want to monitor a TV, a VR, there's so many options. I'd really just say to set a budget. I um, mean, you know, find a TV or monitor that hits that budget and just get the best one, whether you want frame rate, resolution both of them there's just so many options you just gotta you just gotta search online search on micro center and you'll find what you need so all in including the ps5 and gran turismo 7 which is the main game i play right now um, on my ps5 the setup is worth you know around four thousand dollars and like i mentioned earlier you can definitely get a cheaper setup uh, but you can also get a way more expensive setup i've seen some that are tens of thousands of dollars i think even like the legit ones that racing that like real racers use are probably hundreds of thousands you know more than a car which is kind of crazy to think about but these things are legit but the one i have right here i think is a really good option if you want something in the mid-range, it's like very immersive, but you know, isn't going to absolutely break the bank. I know $4,000 is still a lot of money, but if you can swing that much money and you really want a racing simulator setup, I think this is going to get it done for you. And honestly, while the wheel pedals and the uh, shifter are all very important, don't sleep on the cockpit setup. And trust me on this, sitting in a real racing seat with bolstering and can slide back and forth, tilt back and forth, mount your wheel, shifter and pedal. It's so much nicer than sitting in a dining room table with your wheel on a cardboard table, it's just, it's next level, no pun intended. I highly recommend making the cockpit your number one priority. So I'll link everything down below and make sure to use Micro Center's Racing Sim Builder to make your setup. And thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring this video and making this video possible. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and see you later.